Derek super hyped up there. Transition that press. Let's see what some people said here. I don't get it. Derek has all the tools to be a great arm wrestler. So guys, let's talk about Derek Smith. He just had his match against Austin Jaggers at Winter Blast in Pennsylvania and it did not go his way. He ended up losing three to two, but let's review the footage because he looked very, very good in the first two rounds and it looks like he almost lost endurance or something like that. But I mean, he looked very explosive. Like this is round one. Close your hands. So there are a lot of fouls going on in, in the setup. Uh, it was running fouls with Bart Wood and Paul Lynn refing. There's a foul for carving in. And then here's match one. Derek super hyped up there. Super hyped up. I like when he goes crazy and gets intense like that. That's how you know he's on point. Oh shit! So he started firing quick. That was round one. Then round two. There's some foul set up, some foul drama. Here, here it looks like Austin made an adjustment. He he went to attack Derek's hand more than he did in the first round. He went committed to the toggle. Derek with the elbow foul. So it's a running foul, so it's a restart, so they restart again. Again, Austin trying to top roll. Derek containing the top roll going to the side. So he's up 2 0. This is a best of five. So he just needs one more uh, pin to win, basically. So we're going into match three right here. There's a little foul in the setup there. They could give one foul to Derek. And here's the restart here. One foul to Derek. So it looks like Derek was almost less offensive this round. I don't know why. It looks like he was almost just catching Austin, and Austin uh, with the explosive hit. But then you see, uh, it, it looks like Derek's elbow is bobbling there. Like you can see, I mean, multiple points, it looks like his elbow is kind of almost coming off there. But Austin able to hold that in such an ugly position. Super impressive for him to hold that. He's separated and he's on his elbow like that. Still being able to hold is very impressive. Derek is absolutely shaking. So they have the elbow foul on Derek. The running foul, so it's a restart. Here's a restart right here. Again, Austin trying to top roll, but he goes top roll and then he... Goes back into the hook to try and get a stop and get Derek slowed down in the center of the table so he can get a stop. He gets a good stop there. And again, a kind of an ugly position separated on his elbow, but Austin looks very strong in that position, surprisingly, able to hold Derek surges in the hook there. Derek is trying to trying to transition inside more, but he's not able to finish it. So there's Austin's first win right there. It's one to two. This is match four. Derek just needs one more pin to win, basically. Let's go to the start. Let's go to the start here. Okay. So again, Austin starting outside into the fingers, but once Derek contains it, then Austin is going back into the hook and trying to get tight and contain it. He does a good job there. Derek very close to pinning in the hook, but again, his elbow is bobbling. You can see that even from this angle in that offensive hook, Derek's elbow seems to be popping off there. So that's a running foul on Derek. So Derek lets it go because he's on the running foul. Or Austin. No, that was a loss. That was a loss because uh, Derek let it go in... Uh, he had the runner and then he let it go. So it's two to two, basically. This is the, the final match right here. So then Austin has a running elbow foul. You can see, I'm very surprised by his transition inside. He's super good at that transition of the press there. Austin Jaggers. So Derek lets that one go. They restart. Go to the restart here. This is match number five. This is for the win. Next win wins it all. Go! 
So offsetting fouls, but then apparently they gave it on Austin there. Let's let's look at that for a second. Yeah, it did look like Austin moved there. So Austin has two fouls there. So one more foul and he loses. This is really coming down to this last match here. Let's see it. This is it right here. Wow, wow, wow. I'm surprised he's able to hold in that flat position there. And somehow, somehow he's able to go for the flat. Looks like, I mean, Derek's elbow was popping up there, as if you can see that. There, it kind of levitated for a second there. Yeah, elbow on Derek. And slips out. So they go into the strap. Two fouls to Austin, one to Derek. This is for the win in the strap here, basically. This is it. This is it. This is it. Here we go. Close your hands. Go. Oh, it looks like Derek fouled off the front there potentially. I don't know if that was not caught. Maybe. Let's see. Elbow looked like it was off the front there for a second. Maybe it's hard to see. Maybe the back part of his tricep was still on the pad, but anyways, Austin able to stop it there. In such an ugly position, he's able to hold that. Transition that press. So Austin for the win there. Super impressive stuff there by Austin Jaggers. What do you guys think about that match and Derek Smith as well, his trajectory? I mean, he destroyed Tim Bresnan. He got destroyed by Morozov and uh, Ravaz. And now he just lost to uh, Jaggers in a kind of a close match. And actually, let's see what some people said in the comments. I made a post uh, saying that he had lost with some pictures from the match. And uh, let's see what some people said here. I don't get it. Derek has all the tools to be a great arm wrestler. I got a lot of thumbs up. It's the high hook. It's a trap, says someone. Derek is not an arm wrestler anymore. He is now a commentator. I don't know about that. Derek is a very good arm wrestler. I pulled him many times. The match just showed everyone that Derek is not a elite arm wrestler, and it sucks because he has potential to be amazing, but you can tell he just doesn't want it bad enough. Uh, I don't know about that. Has Derek lost a step, been overhyped, or did Jaggers level up? Is Derek really top 10? So many questions in my head. You guys leave a comment on that. What do you guys think about that? I mean, I pulled with Derek. I know how damn strong he is, so it's hard for me to compare him to other top elite guys because they're just at a strength level that's just so beyond the average person. What's the deal? Derek has been training for at least 10 years. The dude is freaking huge. I feel like he should be smacking people around at this point. Um, then someone said, Derek is not good. Uh, he's pretty good. Uh, he's just been overhyped because he's a giant, but it doesn't always mean you'll be good at arm wrestling. He's 10 years in and still can't even crack top 30 in the world. Uh, he's pretty damn good, I'll tell you that. But as far as top 30, that's a good question. I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys think he's top 30 in the world? Someone else said Derek has got to change something. I don't know why he's losing so much. Maybe overhyped puller. He needs to get on the juice. So anyways, a lot of, lot of comments, a lot of people saying he's uh, overrated or whatever. What are you guys saying? Me personally, I pulled with him. I know how damn strong he is, but it's hard to say rankings. I think rankings so a lot of times is just like subjective and it's, it's, it's very hard to ob objectively make a rankings as far as US rankings, but a match I wanted to see was Derek Smith versus, uh, what's his name, uh, Corey West. That's a match I wanted to see, but after this, I mean, I still want to see that match, but potentially Austin Jaggers versus Corey West. I don't know if they have faced before, but those are just some good ideas potentially. But what do you guys think? What What is next for Derek? Who should he go against? I think maybe he should do more tournaments and just be more active, just get more and more like competition, just consistency, consistency on the board. I think that'll get him some momentum going, get him some, some more big wins, maybe tournament wins and stuff like that. But leave a comment what you think on this. I'll catch you guys later.